Welcome back, everybody. We are talking about a uh, pretty big storm coming for this weekend that's going to bring us a uh, dose of wintry precipitation. Let's get right down to business here. First off, what's happening outside right now, 33 degrees at Rome currently. Uh, two, two points into the uh, lower 20s at this point in time. Humidity, 63%. And wind's a little bit busy, 21 miles an hour right now coming from the northwest. So we're getting that cold air moving on in here. So that's going to continue as we go through the night tonight. But the good news, at least, this number is going to start to come down a little bit. So the winds will lighten up just a bit out there for tonight. Our radar view showing you pretty much where the leading edge to the cold air is, and it's right down here to the south. We're seeing Madison, Shenango, Otsego counties, a little bit of light snow being uh, detected on radar. And this will continue to gradually drop to the south as colder air continues to rush on in, and just a few snow showers up toward Old Forge and perhaps into the Tug Hill Plateau, maybe as close as Boonville as well. These are going to be inconsequential, though. Flurries may be adding up to a coating in a few locations here as we go through the night tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, let's talk about what's going on. This is our radar show showing you the shaded co uh, colors. Those are watches and warnings that are in effect at this point in time. Uh, let's talk about some of these. We have a winter storm warning that's in effect here. Starts on Sunday morning right at midnight and goes until at least Monday morning here. That is pretty much the story for every county in central New York here. We just picked out uh, uh, the area here just to kind of give you an idea of who's under what here. You get the story. It's going to be a pretty nasty storm, and that's why there's winter storm warnings in effect right now. And those will start again tomorrow night at about midnight and continue throughout the day on Sunday and into Monday morning. Morning. Let's talk about this storm and let's go through how this is going to evolve and how it's going to impact us here on our skycast. Starting at 7 o'clock this evening, uh, you can see just on the bottom of your screen a little red L kind of sticking up there. That's the actual storm itself. The green, the rain, the pink is the mixed precipitation and blue is snow. We have an area of high pressure that's going to bring colder air into our neck of the woods here as we go through the night tonight. That'll sink in here by tomorrow morning. This storm will slowly continue on the Gulf Coast to get its act together, but generally innocent at this point in time. As we go into the day tomorrow, the storm begins to move up the Appalachian Mountains. This area of high pressure continues to keep us cold. Tomorrow will be a chilly day here. We'll notice clouds start to increase as well here. That's the white color. You see those clouds starting to move on in. Snow already moving into Ohio and Pennsylvania by the time we get to tomorrow evening. As we go through tomorrow night, we're going to see this storm continue to move up into the Ohio Valley, but watch what happens here after midnight. You start to see the leading edge of the snow begin to get close, but then another storm system develops develops off the North Carolina coast. That's the nor'easter. And that's going to start to lift up the east coast as we go into tomorrow night. We're getting heavy snow here by Sunday morning. And then into the day on Sunday, notice that pink is coming awfully close to central New York. And that is why we do think some areas are going to see at least some sleet although our computer models may be overdoing this a little bit. They may be a little too gung-ho with the warm air here, and that may kind of be kind of giving us a little too much in the way of sleet in our forecasts. But nonetheless, snow possibly mixing with sleet as this storm continues to lift up the coast and into New England. We'll go over the storm in just a moment. Tonight, temperatures down into the single digits. It will be cold out there by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Clouds gradually increasing, but tomorrow, dry day. If you're going out, any plans tomorrow, you are in good shape. You'll be fine through about 9 10 o'clock tomorrow night. After that point, that's when you need to watch. Here's your extended forecast. We've got temperatures low 20s tomorrow, around 20 on Sunday. This is what we're going to talk about here. Snowfall forecast for Sunday looks like this. We're talking about 8 to 16 inches of all snow, uh, pretty much north and west of Rome. That includes Old Forge. Old Forge and the Adirondacks may end up being the, the uh, heaviest snowfall out of this storm. Then Mohawk Valley, especially to the west of Little Falls, 7 to 14 inches. That depends mostly on how much sleep mixes in. It could be higher than that, but we have to wait and see how much sleep mixes in. Right now, our biggest concern is south and east of Route 20, Cooperstown to Oneonta. We're thinking 6 to 12, but again, heavily dependent on how much sleep we see from the storm. We will, of course, keep you posted. The rest of your extended forecast showing you unsettled weather and, yes, the chance of maybe another storm here by the end of next week. And that would, at this point, looks like a rain-snow mix. We're not worried about that at this point. Let's just get through this weekend. We will keep you posted. Stephen Kristen, over to you.